What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be talking about Maya Sider. Not only will Maya Sider be driving the number 21 for Richard Tillis Racing this upcoming season, but he will also be driving the number 93 for Ryan Sieg Racing, the RSS Racing Team. This will be 20 races. He'll combine for 20 races between both of the teams. First of all, let's talk about what Maya Sider had to say about getting the opportunity. Going back and forth between the two teams is bound to keep you busy, but the opportunity to work with both organizations is going to be a, take, be a huge learning experience. It's a great way to run my first Xfinity Series season, and I can't wait to kick it off at Daytona with RCR and at Fontana with Ryan Sieg Racing. So we know that he'll be at Daytona for sure at the RCR camp, but he will also be making his debut with RSS at Fontana. So he's going to be a very, very busy driver um, in the next couple weeks because you know, he's going to be going between both multiple teams. And it's not the first time we've seen drivers do this where they go and drive for multiple teams. Ross Chastain's done this in the past. You know, in 2018, he ran for multiple teams. And in 2019 as well, before he switched over to the Truck Series. I mean, he even ran all three races in one weekend, for that matter. Austin Cinder ran between three different teams in 2018 uh, when he drove the 60 car, when it was a Roush car, the 12 car, and the 22 car. And was splitting between three rides. And I think this is going to be a very, very big challenge for my Sider. But my Sider, I'm actually kind of happy with this move, honestly. I think my Sider has some talent. He's a pretty decent driver. And I think he's going to be able to bring a lot to the table for Ryan C. Racing. I think they're not going to fail to qualify in the 93 car. Like, they usually, what they usually do with the 93 car is they usually bring that car behind the wall and park it. And it's usually a starting park car. I don't think you're going to see that this year with the 93 team. I think they're going to be like, you know what? We're going to let my drive the car and see what he's able to do. And I think my Sider could do quite a bit with this car. Now, my expectations for my Sider in this car, I think my Sider can, is going to get a couple, is maybe a couple top 20s. I think he's going to be a de definitely a decently consistent driver. I don't think he's going to wreck it. I think he's gotten better as a driver. You know, when he started, I wasn't as big of a supporter of his. When he started at Kyle Busch Motorsports, he didn't really do a lot. But as he got more time, you know, he went to over to the Thor Sport, almost made the playoffs in 2000, I think it was 2017 or 2018. And he nearly had a, he had a, it was up front at one point at that gateway race in uh, 2019. He was almost contending for the win at one point against guys like Brandon Enfinger and Brett Moffitt last year. But, it really didn't work out for him uh, too much in that race. I think he finished like 10th or something like that in that race. Take it as you will. But my setter, I think, can bring a lot to the table, especially for a smaller organization that is coming up. You know, they brought a lot of great drivers over to that organization. Guys like um, like Ryan Sieg being over there at the moment. Uh, CJ McLaughlin's another one I can think. JJ Gailey's been part of that team. I think Joe Nemechek has been at some point on that organization. And they've also brought some really good and cap other good and capable drivers to that team as well. You know, this team has a shot to build themselves up even bigger in the race that my Snyder is, is able to drive. I know Ryan Sieg is probably going to have a good shot to make the playoffs. And I think my Snyder could do uh, some good stuff with the team, bring going some good stuff because my Snyder, I think, is very capable of doing some extremely really good things. Uh, for an organization like this that is building itself up because they have gotten better over the last few years. They had their biggest year last year, Ryan's, the Ryan Sieg family. And not only that, I think my Snyder as well, we'll go to RCR and talk about that because I did make a video on this a while back. But I think that Ryan, that uh, my Snyder is going to be able to do quite a bit over at that organization. I think they could have a shot at winning. I'm not even kidding and exaggerating. I think they're going to have to win. Because my it's a 21 car. Yes, I know it's a part-time ride. Yes, it's not the two team. But they're probably going to move some of the guys who are on that two organization over to the 21 organization. So they're going to have a lot of shoes built. Yes, we're not going to have Randall Burnett up on the crew chiefing booth. But my center will have to do really, really well. Here at Ryan C, I don't think it's like as expected. But at like Richard Zillis Racing, you're going to be in a really good car. And you're going to have to do very, very well. Because Richard Schiller's equipment is still championship caliber. It doesn't matter. So to the three drivers who are driving that 21, which is Anthony Alfredo, uh, Mycider, 
and uh, what's his face, uh, Kaz Grala. All three of you guys are going to have to perform very, very well in that car. I got faith in all of you because you all three are good drivers. But you got to do, you're going to have to do a lot to show how good you are because it's going to be very important as we get closer to 2021 year. And thinking about us, I don't know if these guys will go to the Cup Series. Let's be honest, I don't think they're going to. But you got to think about the Xfinity Series too. Look at the rides my, that might be available in 2021, not just in the Cup Series, but the Xfinity Series and even the Truck Series. It's going to be very interesting to see what goes on because the 2021 season is not that far around the corner. I mean, people think, oh, we're still like a year away for 2021. Well, we got a long way to go until we get to that point. So, there you go. So, I know this video is a little bit longer than I wanted to make it, but I wanted to thank you guys for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Turn notifications on so you can be notified when video does go live on my channel. Follow me on all my social medias. Links in the description below for that. And combo your opinions on how you think my setter is going to do at the Ryan Sieg Racing Shop. Anyway, I want to thank guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care, everybody.